you know like back in days we used to make these little fun videos where me and Olivia just be walking around some small little villages or little outskirts of Vientiane so that's exactly what we're doing today let's go you ready I think it's this way but don't think there's much left so if you guys wonder why one of my eyes are a bit swollen basically uh, I've just got into a fight with this homeless woman yesterday she kept on screaming at me and was like no I'm not taking it and then classic she did I mean she punched me here you see it's a bit swollen but you, you should see her face I'm only joking guys something happened to me I just got like a super swollen eye since yesterday and me and Olivia we haven't been making that many videos lately just because we've been actually extremely ill I'm feeling better now yeah. but we have not been that sick I can't even speak we have not been that sick in like three years yeah. or something so we were like what the hell is going on I'm in daylight again feels great all right it's time to go out let's go and see what this market has to say usually walking through markets like these uh, there's not much different to any other markets because that's where the locals usually come and get their basic supplies such as fruit such as vegetables you know stuff like that like rice sauces oils and stuff like that so you probably just see the same thing in every other market but I mean just have a look that's what we do sometimes sometimes we just walk uh, someone saying hi hello yeah nice one see everybody's really friendly here in Laos as soon as you walk with the camera everybody's instantly waving smiling the guy showing me thumbs up in there hey <laughs> cup chai the whole chicken on a stick the oh what wow baby chicken on a stick i think we had them before somewhere in thailand i think so right uh, and brought you up kiri khan maybe yeah I, i'm pretty sure he had a head on yeah i mean what's the big deal heads you guys see the stuff we've been eating on this channel a little bit of chicken head is nothing the one thing we really need is fruit especially when we're after like illnesses and stuff like that after laying in bed for so long get some fruit man do you get me yeah what yeah. do you want there's all kinds i can see fruits that i like to I, I had the other day the peach and peaches aren't very popular here usually and it was delicious it was so good yeah, the pineapples are huge in here. And you see the size of papaya. This papaya is a big papaya. Wow. Apples are really expensive. Especially like when we were in Thailand, like one apple was like almost like a dollar for an apple. One apple. In my country, Lithuania, at this time of the year, there's so many apples. They're all over the ground. You just go ask a lady, like, can I have a few kilos? Like, yeah, I take like 10 kilos. It's free. And here really? is one, one dollar, yeah. Oh. Let's go to Lithuania. Because <laughs> they just fall down off the trees, you know, every autumn. And they just rot away because there's so many apple trees. Like in Lithuania, you'll see apple trees everywhere. I think a lot of these apples here are probably imported from China. When we used to buy apples, like when we were here around a year ago, they were like 15,000 kip for a kilo and now they're 30,000. So it did double in price. Obviously, it's because of inflation, but got really expensive. Olivia, the lady is asking if you want some pineapple. Dad, I? Sipha pan. Sipha, okay. Already sliced up, ready to eat, you know what I mean? We don't usually buy them like that because I think we do lose its nutrition, but I feel like it's been cut recently. Mm. They're all so happy here. Yeah. Look at these waffles, yeah? Mm. Here we go. How you doing? Yeah, hey, this is Sip, Sip. Ling Tao Dai. Okay, we got one. This used to go so well with Netflix. Watch movies. With ice These cream. These are the best, the best, guys. If you're ever here in Laos, you must try these waffles. They're amazing. We ate these a lot in Thailand as well. But they make like smaller ones. back into walking on the road this is it for the market as you can see like i said markets are have everything you need but we don't need much you see we only needed some fruit and in fact we're just here showing you what the locals you know live like here every single day because that's what we are travels and toast we go deep into the hood deep with the locals get down with the business you know what i'm saying everything i just said i was freestyling i'm wondering what i was gonna say next but i smashed it and here's our temple Local Ooh, temple. Bye bye, bye, -bye, bye, -bye.
You probably heard that Laos right now is going through some mad inflation. Like the value of Kip dropped so bad. The meats, the groceries also has gone up in price. But the craziest thing is that the wages stay the same. So, you know, people still have to live like this. And me and Oliva just had a little drive around the area, you know, and then seeing how simple people live, you know, and, and, and really how much, how, how they don't have much, but they look so happy and so fulfilling. When we went to the market, like the people were just smiling at us, you know, like absolute vibes, you know, I was like, these people are like the happiest people ever. Like I've never seen so, someone so positive, even though they know they live yeah. in, in such a difficult times right now. I've never been in a country where nearly every single person that you meet is genuinely just really, really nice. But uh, right now we are in our local temple. It's called Wat. Nak? Wat. Watanak? Watanak? What? Watanak. Watanak? So we're in Watanak and we're gonna go look around the Watanak temple. We don't usually make a lot of videos about temples because if you've been in Southeast Asia, you probably know what the temple looks like. And so we've, we've seen a lot of temples. Yeah, we're not gonna bore you, but we just saw one monument back there that was really cool. So here's the temple. I've seen a lot of people been parking up their cars, like vehicles everywhere, you know. And probably some people who works in the offices and stuff like that probably have no room to park it anywhere else. I think it's because there's like a, a hundred different government buildings in this area. Yeah. So they all park here for the free parking. There's a lot of government buildings and those buildings they all look so nice. Like some of them look so fancy, so beautiful, but they're all empty. And then you look at the schools, absolutely destroyed. And there's children going to school like every single day. Irony at its best, eh? I love this one. It's really beautiful artwork here. I really like it. The most interesting thing is this hill here. I was looking up this hill from days ago and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go there one day. And I'm like, what is it built on? It's built on an old stupa, as you can see. Yeah? Yeah. Looks beautiful. I don't think we can go up there. I think we can. I think we can. Really nice. uh, it looks ancient this stupa. I wonder what's inside of it. You know, uh, I don't remember who it was, but someone was telling us that each one of those stupas supposed to have a treasure, some sort of maybe a bit of gold. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there's no way. Because that's what, exactly what I was thinking the whole time. I was like, I bet in, you know, those stupas, the triangulated looking stupas. And I was, was like, there's no way they're gonna put treasure in there, man. Like, come on, get out of here. And apparently they do. Apparently they put something in there. Uh, we've, we've learned that when we were in Ayutthaya in Thailand's old capital, and then this guy just explained us everything about these stupas. And yeah, they used to have treasures. That's crazy. Thank you for commenting cool facts on our videos all the time. We learn a lot. Beautiful looking women. And, and these women, they have some sort of jar right here. And I don't know what oh, the jar is for, but... Yeah, must be for arms giving, but it's weird, like the way she's dressed. Look, if you look at her shoes, that is from Roman times. That is nothing to do with Southeast Asia. Th these gold thread, that comes from Romans, from, <laughs> from the ancient Rome or Greece, you know? Yeah, these as well. And then same, okay. well, these look different though here. Here now you can see this have more of a an, sort of like an ancient Asian uh, sort of fine, right? Why, why are you laughing at me? You're like some kind of amateur archaeologist over here. Here we are. So now we're walking on top of these beautiful blue tiles. Barefoot as you can see. Okay. Out of respect. He's inside the temple. All He's the, in the temple. Eating Everybody's right eating, yeah. Can maybe take a video. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, everybody's waving at us. It's a beautiful temple. Wow. Yeah, let's not go in. Olivia's forgot her trousers today. <laughs> ha ha. Kids probably coming around to chill by the temple. Chill with the dogs. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> what is your name? Chelsea Yang. Hi. Oh. Chelsea Yang. Namina. Namina. Okay. <laughs> My boy's like, okay, I'm. I'm gonna hide behind this other kid. Hello. <laughs> behind the smallest it's, kid. It's okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, kids are shy. That's just normal, isn't it? Weren't we all shy when we were kids? Do you know what I mean? So cute. Yeah, but uh, this is pretty much what it's like in our local 
area in Vientiane. It is uh, really lovely. We love being here. And you know, this is the temple right now, guys. Where we are, this is the temple. Now I'm gonna turn. And that is our balcony right here. Yeah. Top floor. Just here. This is like a, a vegetable garden where the, I'm not sure if you call them nuns, but they wear the white, the women. And they like grow food there and they're always cooking there. So yeah. it's really cool. You just like, we wake up, we look out and we see all this happening yeah. here. But it's pretty cool how you're just like staying right in front of the temple. Yeah. Every single sunset we see like gongs. And, I mean, you probably seen all of this in our previous video. We kind of mentioned it yeah. real quick. But uh, this was pretty much it. Uh, sorry we haven't been making that many videos lately, guys, because we have been extremely ill. Something we couldn't control and something that happens really rarely, actually. But we're glad it's kind of ending now. We're feeling a little bit better. So we feel like there's going to be a few more videos coming about Laos. Wow.